What's up everyone, No Respawns here. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you this one. This is my shanty town, utilizing two of the, well, three of the prefabs and two of the newest ones. Let me show you where I am rather briefly. So we're just here, literally right next to the crash plane. Potentially too close to the crash plane as I do tend to get pinged at by ghouls. But it, it's a cool location and I think I've made it clear how much I adore the Maya. So I did actually build this one on stream the other day on my Twitch channel. Um, normally I won't do that, but we just got a little bit carried away. Uh, it, I will be building on Twitch channel uh, my Twitch now and then. So uh, link in the description to my Twitch channel if you want to follow me there. Stream twice a week. So let me just pop inside first and then we'll do a quick tour on the outside slowly. So this utilizes all of my favorite prefabs. My whole premise with this one is I just wanted a shanty town. I wanted a collection of all of the more rustic, very, very kind of like scrappy looking prefabs to have available. I, Bethesda have been knocking out of the park um, with the makeshift mansion here. I adore it. And then the mobile trailer here, which is amazing. And once we get multiple camp slots, I might just have a build, which is literally just this parked to the side of a road. Um, let me give you a tour of the outside. I have actually maxed out my build limit completely on this, which is frustrating, as you'll see in the inside of a couple of the rooms, especially in the makeshift mansion. I could have done more, uh, mainly because I, you know, probably know already, I really like that kind of scrappy, very, very, very busy interior. I like clutter, base. I'm, I'm a big fan of the old clutter, and I couldn't make them as cluttered as I'd like, but... I'm still really pleased with how this turned out. And to be fair, what I could potentially do is because I wanted this wee pier area here. I could potentially just get rid of the entire pier um, or maybe even get rid of the CD shed. And that would probably free up quite a lot of space. Ostensibly, I think I'd be fine if I had maybe a quarter more, maybe even a fifth. But it's just to kind of add those extra details. This is actually my most boringly decorated room, so I'm going to show it first. <laughs> I literally forgot about it. I was like, damn it, I have to do that room. Uh, but let me show you the best one. Because this is the one that, one, this dropped the other day. So I was like, well, I have to make effort in here. And I love the way it looks. It's, oh, it's so trailer park. I love it so much. It's such a nice space. Uh, one thing I've done with this, and it's nice little lighting for these, pro tip, is if you do have these Christmas lights, which if you don't, they'll, they'll be on the Atom Store come Christmas. So it's fine. Like, when December hits. But, like, lighting it up with just these, and I've done it with all of my rooms, makes for a really nice atmospheric light. And then you combine it with some of the smaller ones. It just looks so good. And this is such a nice shape as well. You can fit quite a lot in here. Like I said, I could probably still have a bit of space to put some something else there. It's off. Loves it. And the fact that it has stairs that sink into the ground. Oh, love it. Very, very cool structure. So pleased. Obviously had to put the satellite dish on the top because, you know, this is where a, a conspiracy theorist would absolutely live. Then we've got the makeshift mansion, which I've obviously built up before. However, not in my cool little shanty town. I've got my little, my little shelter there. Which, for those of you who haven't used the multiple camp slots, it does share your shelter across the camp shop. So my my shelter is really built up. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, just, just go through my old videos. It's, it's not too long ago. One little pro tip and something I've learned is if you are kind of struggling with build limit, I might get attacked in a sec. Um, if you're struggling with build limit, focus on getting the exterior done because that way the first bite is with the eye, basically. So some of these rooms are more decorated than others. As you can see, they look fine. And like, you can see where I was going with them, but it's like, ah, oh, yeah, could have had more stuff there. But to be honest, it's more because of my slightly OCD-ness with... OCD-ness, is that a word? It is a word now. Uh, but my OCD when it comes to having clutter everywhere. I like my clutter so much. I love this little section here. Oh, I love that thing. I was going to put him inside, like he was sitting in it. The problem is that if you put him inside, I can't actually get inside it. But it looks so good. A door. You can actually put two of those down. Someone quit the other day, they can only put one. You can actually put two, so go nuts with your little, uh, little hot tubs there, everyone. You can sort of see what I was going with these. Still happy with it. J j decorated enough that unless you're me or someone who's currently watching my channel, you won't think they're under-decorated. And again, if I just got rid of the CD shed, I'd probably be fine. That's what I might do. And this is my chef's room. Again, she's got a little bit more decoration needed on the walls, but I was kind of being pragmatic. I was like, okay, cool. 
But the whole aesthetic of this, I just, oh, oh, I love it. I've, I've wanted kind of this kind of shanty town for ages. And what I might do is refine this a little bit, kind of like, for example, an obvious choice is to get stuck there. Um, you may notice that I did heavily build up the exterior walls quite a lot. What I could probably do and free up loads of space is just remove these like extra reinforcements. Most people wouldn't notice and it wouldn't take away from the entire build, which actually what I might do. This might potentially become my permanent home. Uh, but hopefully Bethesda, at some point you give us um, a build increase, please. Just like give us give us a third more or a quarter and I'll be happy as you like. Let me go into the Wii photo mode. Get you some cinematic looks. The one bad thing about the Maya, and it is like a minor thing, is the lighting is great, but it's sometimes quite bright. So taking good pictures. But I'm I'm just so pleased how this look, worked out. Um. Anyway, hope you guys liked that. Gave you some few ideas. Like it's still available on the store now. I just I don't usually don't recommend you pick up something, but if you want a good prefab, I just can't think of a better one than uh, than this mobile trailer. It's in a pack, or you can get it separately. It even They've even done the foundations well, which is quite nice. Like, a lot of the times, if you look at the CD shed, it's just on one, like, giant foundation. This one makes sense. And even on sloped ground like this, you know, it, it sinks in and nothing's floating. It's just, oof, chef's kiss. I absolutely adore it. Um, let me know if you've done anything cool. I'd be really curious. I'm, I'm on Twitter at no respawn. So if you have done any cool stuff with these trailers or even the uh, makeshift mansion, please tweet me some pics because I, I would generally like to see because oh, loves it, loves it, loves it, loves it. Bethesda, give us more camp slots, please. <laughs> so I can just have this on its own down the side of the road and then I can really build up to the point where I might do a build like that in the future. Anywho, so as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I keep plugging this, but please follow me on Twitch because I will be streaming exclusively over there. About twice a week, potentially three times. Usually a Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it's a kind of a Friday, Saturday kind of thing. Whichever day um, I'm not out with mates. Uh, but potentially squeezing a cheeky Sunday if I'm free as well. Um, I will be building on the stream, so it's often like at least once a week, Fallout 76, potentially Fallout 4. But then other games as well. Recently, we've been doing a bit of Necromunda Hired Gun, which is janky but good. Um, to the point where I even left a Steam review, which I never usually do, because it needed love. Um, and also, I've hit affiliate now, so my streams are finally in 1080p, which is wholesome. Anywho, I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will speak to you absolutely lovely bunch soon. You take care.